For months now, reports of a condition affecting children have challenged the idea that kids and adolescents are either less vulnerable to COVID-19 or are less likely to be infected. And Korea recently confirmed its first cases of MISC, or multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. So what do we know about MISC at this point? It is a rare but severe condition that's been popping up around the world this year. Symptoms include a prolonged fever, red eyes, a rash, swollen hands and feet, vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal pain. According to the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, since the first MISC case in Britain in April, the United States has seen at least 935 cases, including 19 deaths, and there have been several hundred more instances of the syndrome reported around Europe. But it's not like there's a single test you can do to confirm MISC. The KDCA has so far investigated seven suspected cases, announcing on October 5th that two boys, aged 11 and 12 respectively, had both recovered from the syndrome and already been released from hospital. Other children who fell ill have turned out to have Kawasaki disease, which is also rare, affecting one in 10,000 kids, usually under the age of five. But what's this got to do with COVID-19? While symptoms may overlap with other conditions, one of the key criteria for diagnosing MISC is infection with or exposure to the virus that causes COVID-19 within four weeks of falling so seriously ill that kids require hospital treatment, even if they had no COVID-19 symptoms before. The KDCA's other defining factors state that a child or adolescent under the age of 19 needs to have shown a fever of 38 Celsius or above for at least 24 hours, as well as inflammation of unknown cause affecting two or more organs like the heart, lungs, skin, and gastrointestinal system. US data shows that affected young people may or may not have had other underlying conditions. Awareness and perspective also do appear to be important here. According to the World Health Organization, children under 18 represent only about 8.5% of reported COVID-19 cases, and among them, most pass without any serious complications. Well under 1% of those infections have led to MISC based on the US experience, but people should be aware of the possibility and seek early treatment when it's suspected because doctors have successfully used treatments that have been effective with similar illnesses. Health experts are still trying to figure out what's happening with the immune system response behind MISC, as well as investigating possible long-term consequences. The safest thing to do for now, and this includes all of us as adult complications also occur, is to try to avoid COVID-19 infection in the first place. For Korea, this has meant even stricter rules on wearing masks, while many schools here are also yet to return to pre-COVID-19 normality. Individuals in other parts of the world may have to make their own choices, and we wish you all the best and good health.